What's going on YouTube? I'm here with a particular video that a lot of people has been asking me for that. How in the world did I get carbon fiber hoods or hood removal or the body kit for the uh, the 96 Impala and et cetera, et cetera. So I'm here to show y'all that how I'm able to get all this stuff on my uh, PCSX2 for Midnight Club 3 Dub Edition right here. But I will not be using my primary emulator like this here. This is the most latest version of PCSX2. I will not be doing this emulator for the process of using cheat engine because this here cheat engine this is the puppy that will get us the carbon fiber hoods and all that other extra shit that the game will not allow you to access so that is this right here cheat engine will not be compatible for this particular emulator just because this emulator it's just too freaking updated it's too far advanced it's just there's so many updates for this particular emulator it's just simply not going to work so if you see this here the smaller interface the more of a dated type of pcsx2 if you will we're just going to exit out the main one and i'm going to use the 1.7.0 dev 32 like well, it's kind of a long ass code but it's pretty much this small little interface of pcsx it's just an older emulator if you will so without any further ado i'm going to show y'all how to get this shit up and ready to go boy all right so now that we finally got ourselves loaded in what you want to do for the cheat engine you want to look for this emulator itself not the screen but the emulator so what you want to do for cheat engine it's already highlighting it like what are you looking for type shit so you want to click on that and make sure it's click on 1.7.0 or whichever older emulator that you have right here this is mine this is my personal older emulator right here so yeah we're just going to click on that open it up and now it has some different options of what you can do so on the game itself i'm going to go into the garage this is like first things first at what you normally want to do so first thing what i'm going to show y'all what to do i'm going to show y'all how to get the carbon fiber hoods just like you see here with the clk gtr so what you want to do for value type make sure it's on string and then before you type anything in what you want to do let's say you want to get the carbon fiber hood for the clk gtr like the one that you see right here so in order for this to work you go to your license plate go to where it actually shows the letters and numbers and all that and then go to your text and make sure that this is in capitals so all capitals kmg space 922 so it's pretty much the same exact code for your license plate on the car scan it and it's always going to be the bottom one bro i don't know why it's i think all these are pretty much like the ones you need to purchase or some other different codes but it's always going to be at the bottom and the reason how i know that on the license plate right here so if i were to accept it and then where it says k right here you see where it says k at the bottom l l l see it's the same one like it's pretty much exactly the same exact license plate so it's always going to be the bottom one every time you click in a number for your license plate there you go double click that active in your description highlight it and then click on browse this memory region so this is where the magic happens man so for the carbon fiber hood i already know exactly where it's at it's going to be on one two so pretty much the second row above lmg because that's your license plate number right there so it's always going to be on the second row right here for exotics i'm pretty sure it's like that for any other cars it doesn't matter if it's just the original dub edition or the remix version of dub edition it can work for both of the games so except the zonda i don't know why you can't get carbon fiber hoods for the zonda i've already tried it multiple times it just doesn't work so i'm just going to remove the carbon fiber so i instead of oh one i put down a double zero so what you want to do is load into the next car but don't actually load up to the next car just go over there and then come right back and then boom i have no carbon fiber hood on this car so if you are trying to get it just click zero one it's going to be on the second row above lmg the fifth number like pretty much the fifth code so it's like one two three four five it's always going to be the fifth one on the second row above your license plate number so just keep that in mind right here this is only for carbon fiber hoods for your um for your exotic cars or any other cars that doesn't have the option for the hoods and then boom you got your carbon fiber hood right here for your exotic this could pretty much work out for every single car out there oh see look at that it's already showing it off and everything 
So there's that for carbon fiber hoods. Now for a hood removal, this is actually kind of tricky. So what I'm going to do for this, as you can see, I have no hood for my Eclipse right here, y'all. Same exact thing. What you want to do, go to new scan. Just click that. Erase this. 24K ho. <laughs> And then scan that bitch. Like I said, it's always going to be the bottom one. And since we're no longer using the CLK, we're just going to delete this record. So this right here, you can pretty much exit it out because that's for the CLK. So this time, click on that. Browse to this memory region. And now the same license plate, as you can see right here, it's the same thing. Like I said previously for the CLK, this is your carbon fiber hood, but I don't have a hood. And the reason why for that, because the one before that, the fourth one is actually the hood itself, the ones you get to customize. So if I were to actually go on the hood where it says 15, that means I pretty much remove the hood because there is no 15th option. So look at that. It just changes. So that's pretty much it. You can definitely see the numbers that's changing right now. So yeah, there is no number 15 for any of these options because it just simply doesn't exist. And because of that, if I were to get out of this shit, right now I'm on hood number six. So if I were just to type in 15, go over here, go to my chopper before it loads up into the chopper, just go back to the card that you just now had, and then boom, like it, like that, man. No fucking hood on that bitch. It looks nice, spippy, and clean. Although for this emulator, I do not, I do not have HD texture mods, so yeah, it's a little bit, yeah, it doesn't look as pretty. It looks pretty pixelated, like a piece of paper. But uh, yeah, that's how you get to remove the hoods and all that, you know, all that beautiful, wonderful, beautiful HD that shit. Bro, I completely forgot to show y'all the damn police rap. Like, I'm literally, as I just finished the recording, I'm like, oh shit, I didn't even show y'all the police rap to how I was able to get mine. Well, I'm here to show y'all this right now. The process is kind of difficult, but I'm just here to show you the code for the police rap for any card that you want to put that rap in. So let me go show you that right now. So the rap, the license plate number that I have is R34. That's why I put it as my license plate. So you pretty much scan that. Make sure you put on screen it's going to be at the bottom one double click it it will show up to your address right here click to browse the memory region and it will be right here it's your one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleventh row at the bottom underneath your license plate 1208 is your is your digits your code for the police wrap for any card that you desire i just so happen to put mine on the r34 and uh it actually looks pretty damn clean as fuck as well so yeah 1208 is the final two digits on the 11th row down here so and uh yeah just memorize those digits and uh yeah you'll get the police wrap on any card that you desire i completely forgot about you know showing you all that but yeah that is the number for the second and the last one right here yeah 11th row two last numbers right here just make sure that it's a uh, 1208 for the cop rap and uh yeah i completely forgot about that i'm so sorry so uh yeah on to the video all right so same shit as usual go type it in scan it bottom one and then here we are for this now this here is a tad bit different bro this one's a little bit different if i if my memory serves me right where would the body kits even be at this so i'm pretty sure for bumpers right here it would be on the third row rear bumper the next one over the side skirt it should be starting from right here yes it does we don't really want to touch the hoods because there's nothing right here this is your hoods so it's pretty much going in order so because this here is a hoods if i just go to the spoilers right next over so yeah that's pretty much it i'm assuming that's how it works for some reason it removes my um my 96 impala address so we're gonna go back to the 96 impala is this it right here yes it is so it's probably going to change the second one yes it does so third row this is your front bumper this is your rear bumper this is your side skirts right here so it's only three options that's all you need However, I also have the exhaust tips as well. So I think it should be about right here. But just to confirm it, if this is the exhaust, I'm going to click a double zero, go back to it just in case, go to the next vehicle, go back to what I just had previously. 
yeah so these are different exhausts because last time the hole was a lot more wider this one's a lot more skinnier so yeah that's your exhaust tips right there i have is selection number one that's pretty much your body kit right there for rockstar the hidden body kit that rockstar never wanted to put out into the game for some reason which is sad but yeah the first second third row up top right here right here and right here that's your front rear and side skirts right there so that's pretty much how you get your body kit for the 96 impala as you can see i have a customized freaking cop car i changed the color of the paint i fucking have custom dimensions and spinners and i got a license plate for it and everything else oh even tinted windows as well but see here's the complication for this this is the way how I built my cop car on this game, right? So here's the bit of a confusion for, oh, I was about to exit out. This was really, 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 really difficult. There's a whole lot of different codes that I use for this particular vehicle to like change the paints and everything else. Cause you're not, you can't do that here. Everything is unavailable for customizing your cop car, unfortunately. So it's really hard to tell of how you want to customize your color on here. But the way how I've done it for that, I pretty much, let's say Dodge me. This is my Dodge Viper right here. This is pretty much exactly how I done it by customizing my cop car. I just pretty much go to the car that's already in the address browse memory region and if i want a particular color for this car or for my cop car it will pretty much show it right here but the thing is it's not just this code don't worry about the ones up top it's just this one right here you see how they all change the fact that it only shows just one code switching up it's not just one code for metallic or pearlescence it's actually oh there you go see you see how the one before it actually changes this is number one this is number three and color shift is number two matte is number four gloss is double zero so that in itself can easily show you what colors you want to pick for your cop car so this one is 0113 right here it's pretty much the second row at the bottom of your license plate name. It will be second and your third code right here. So now I got to go back to my freaking top car. Where the fuck is it at? It's all the way near the end. So now go to this memory region. Go back over here. And yep, it still says the same code 0113. That's the code right there for metallic black. So that's why you see right here it's customized for your cop car right there and i think 41 right here that should be your license plate i think I, i'm pretty sure that's your license plate but just to confirm it right now it's at 41 so if i were to go 40 it should show a dub edition license plate just as i thought it was a dub edition license plate but i'm gonna go tis so i'm gonna go back to 41 go switch it out go back to the car previously and boom there you go for a custom license plate as well unfortunately you can't put decals or anything else on your windshields i already tried doing that it doesn't work i know clearly you see the spinners and the different dimensions and all that that would all be up here this right here first second third fourth row right here this is your dimensions your size of your wheels lowering it the widths of your wheels your tire profiles different selection of wheels this right here is the selection of wheels just like i've shown y'all and uh yeah that's pretty much it this is your dimensions on one two three four your fourth row this is your dimensions and this is your wheels so that's pretty much how you get to customize your cop car right there and i think for window tents i think that's all the way down at the bottom maybe so right now i got a darker window tent so i'm going to change this back to double zero i'm just throwing a guess but i think this is your window tent go back to the car i just had previously nope this was not the window tent i'm not really sure what the hell i just changed but i'm just going to leave that alone so i'm gonna put that back to one switch it back and uh yeah man that's just pretty much it there is one more thing i actually do want to show y'all as well so rockstar has npc bike riders that you can't really equip for yourselves which is this guy right here he's one of the few npc riders that you're able to get so i'm not really sure how you're able to get this guy well actually 
you know what? I'm lying. This is the license plate. Fuck off. So this one's a different license plate, but it definitely does have the fuck off fucking lettering on it. I just chose the Rockstar just because the Rockstar NPC and all that shit. So if you're wondering how I got this NPC rider, let's go exit out of this, go to body shot, go to riders, and let's see where it changes. So this is how you know it's right here. It's the first row up top of your license plate number on the fourth selection. So this right here, this is how you know you're choosing different riders. But because I have an NPC rider, the one I have in particular is number 29. So the code for this particular NPC rider with a dubbed out shirt, number 20 on the back, and he's got that helmet on. So that's how you'll get your NPC rider because he's number 29. There's other NPC riders out there, but I personally don't really know all the codes out there. There's probably other YouTubers out there that has uh, multiple NPC riders, but this one right here, he's code number 29. He's rocking out the baggy jeans, all black fit, all that shit, or technically gray and all but yeah you cannot get this particular bike rider because rockstar just chooses not to put it there and uh yeah uh well actually i got one more this one these are swapped out wheels from the gimbala i think it was the uh what kind of gimbala was it oh yeah it was this one it was a 98 f355 so these wheels are stocks you cannot put these wheels on any other car but i figured out how to swap those wheels the mclaren and any other car i finally figured out how you can actually swap other stock wheels onto the cars that you want to do it on so for these if i were to go to the body shop go to the different selection of wheels i think that there it is right there so yep these are called b5s these particular wheels are called b5s so if you want other stock wheels from other different cars if i were to go look for let's say my uh Faton, this right here should change which it just now did go to browse memory region if you want to swap these wheels these are from this one is from a Lotus E-Sprit. So if I were to go here, these are code 2B. That's what these wheels are called. So if I were to swap those wheels out for any other car, remember this name right here. It's going to be the one, two, three, the third row up top above your license plate name. It's going to be on the third option. So just keep that in mind, 2B, right? Now let's say I want these wheels on the McLaren F1. If I go back over here, there's your wheels right there but i'm not going to swap these out to another one because i actually like the uh the kambalas but that's how you swap out different wheels that's one two three third row right there so that's pretty much it man that's how you swap different wheels to other cars that is not an option to do so cheat engine will got hey it's got you covered for that shit so yeah man that's pretty much it that's how cheat engine works that's how you get to choose like different bike riders or like npc riders hood removals carbon fiber hoods for exotics a customizable fucking police car there's like so many more different things that you can do for cheat engine but here's here's the catch bro here's the freaking catch with all this that i'm showing y'all knowing i just showed y'all how everything works but cheat engine bro this is kind of a tricky thing to download for your pc i'll leave the link down in the description for you to download cheat engine but i'm telling you right now once you download this you're probably going to experience a lot of antiviruses on your fucking pc so the reason how i'm able to use this without any of those problems i had to go through multiple freaking restarts and just trying to get this thing to work out like trust me the moment you download this you're gonna run into a lot of problems so i'm not sure how i was able to fix it due to like multiple different restartings on my pc but if you're really determined on actually trying to get this done for your emulator you will figure this out i promise you i'm not sure how i removed the antiviruses for this cheat engine but i did it i'm not sure how but it worked so if you're really determined on getting the carpet fiber hoods hood removal and all the other different shit cheat engine bro i'm telling you it's the way to go bro but that will do it for the rest of this video hopefully y'all enjoyed and hopefully this was pretty helpful because i really do suck at explaining things but if so leave a like subscribe if you are brand new to the channel turn on the bell for notifications for all that beautiful wonderful glorious that shit and i will see you next time for another upload man y'all take it easy